Hi guys, welcome to DevOps tutorial and in this video lecture we are going to learn installation of Kubernetes on AWS EC2 as a single uh, node cluster. So here the, all the steps are written and we have required some pods that need to be enabled when we are doing the installation of Kubernetes. So this is the list of the pods that we have to enable when we are installing the Kubernetes on EC2. Okay. So after that one we have write down the, all these steps and description of that steps. So that helps to installation of Kubernetes very easily. So let's go to the AWS and create a machine. So click on the EC2. And we have to create the one instance here. Create the launch instance. And select the machine AWS Linux then we have to select the 2 CPU and 4 GB memory so that is a minimum requirement uh, when we are installing the Kubernetes so let's go to the next 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 and here configuration we have one security groups that allow the all the ports and just launch it okay so So it will take a few seconds to launch our new machine. So guys, we are logging into the EC2 that we have launched from the AWS. So let's go to the GitHub and check the commands. So here all the list of commands we have. The first command is sudo su. So this command is uh, give the access to the super user. Like, yeah, so we have the root user access now. The next command is p minus h. It will use to check how many swap memory and how many memories are allocated in the system. So when we execute this command, we can see here the swap memory is zero. If we have any swap memories there, so we can see in this section. Okay, but as of now we don't have any swap memory. So let's go to the next command is swap off. This command is generally used to de deactivate the swap memory. So okay, so this is done because this is used because the whenever we installing the Kubernetes, so it's required a more memory. Okay. So next command is we have to add this one. This command is generally using to providing the IP routing. So this is done. Next command is we have to install the docker. So the command is yum install docker. When we execute this command it will download all the required libraries. It will take few minutes. Yeah it's completed. Now once the docker will be installed we have to enable the docker. So the command is system ctl enable docker. So docker is enabled. Let's clear the terminal. And another we have command is start the docker. So just copy this command and execute here. The docker is installed if you want to check the uh, docker services are running or not. So we have the command is system ctl status docker so we can see here the docker is active and running okay so the next command is we have to configure the kubernetes packages so we have to execute this command so it will add all the kubernetes packages in the system so that is done so guys the next step is installation of kubelet kubeadam and kubectl so let's understand one by one each. So Kubelet is a primary node agent that runs on each node. And Kubeadam is a tool to build to provide the Kubeadam init and Kubeadam join. And kubectl is a Kubernetes command line tools that allows you to run the commands in uh, Kubernetes cluster. So let's execute the command all. So the first command is the yum install kubeadm kubectl and kubelet. So we are executing all this command here. So all the installation will be start.
so it's installing all the required libraries so here is installed so let's check the docker is running yes the docker is running fine so the next command is status so the system ctl status kubelet so we can check here so what we have to do we have to init because it's inactive now so is initialize the kubelet kubelet so it will take few minutes so we can see here we can see the kubernetes version is 1.19.4 So it's going to install. So it will take just few minutes. Okay. So we can see here the cube net uh, is initialized, and uh, so we have to execute uh, to start your cluster. You need to run the following commands okay so we have to execute this command here then this one then last one okay so all this command also mentioned in our github document so you can just go and copy okay so i think all these commands are done we have added the config files in this location and we can see here we have received the one more token this is used to adding the node in our cluster okay so generally this things we will do in the next video lecture so what is the next command is uh, we have the next command is the 10 nodes so this command is generally we are using to make as a master as a worker okay so just copy this command and once we execute these things so our master will become as a worker node okay so just clear terminal and we have to execute this command so this command is generally used to apply the ports network communication so silico is uh, we are using that provide a good configuration so it's done and if you want to see that how many ports we have so we have the command is kubectl get ports and get the all the names so we can see here all this is all the ports are running in our system and this is the status it's pending some are pending some are running when we refresh again it will see mostly are running yeah all are running so this is uh, for this video lecture so in the next video lecture we will learn more the kubernetes commands and we'll do some more practice on the kubernetes and we will create some master and uh, the worker node cluster so thank you guys please like and subscribe my youtube channel for more upcoming videos Thank you. Bye.